Some New York state lawmakers are trying to pass a bill that would legalize medical aid in dying. Our New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein talks to lawmakers about the issue and updates us on the bill's progress. Ayla Eilert was living her dream of working as a professional dancer in New York City when she was diagnosed with tongue cancer in September of 2021. She died six months later at the age of 24. Ayla's parents, Amy and Darren Eilert, miss their daughter every single day. Amy says Ayla was always very forgiving and um, beautiful. Ayla's parents' hearts broke watching their daughter suffer and deteriorate through her terminal illness. They say part of the pain was watching Ayla, who loved food, struggle to eat. Food is so inextricably tied to life and a joy and taste. Amy says the last thing Ayla ever tasted was a raspberry that she wasn't able to swallow. Amy and Darren say they wish Ayla would have had the choice of medical aid in dying. Ayla's parents have traveled from Dallas, Texas to Albany multiple times since their daughter passed, hoping to get a bill passed that would legalize medical aid in dying in New York. To be eligible for medical aid in dying in United States jurisdictions, an individual must be 18 years or older, have a terminally ill prognosis with six months or less to live, be mentally capable of making their own health care decisions, and be able to self-ingest the medication. Some lawmakers say this bill is their top priority. This bill is really about personal autonomy and agency and having control of your lives all the way through. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.